Professor Arthur Peter Mutarika has asked motor dealers in the country to start investing in infrastructure development. The president was speaking at General Conan Blante after opening the magnificent Abdul Majid Motor City, the new premises for HTD Limited. Tasungana Kazembe reports. This state-of-the-art HTD showroom will not only add beauty to the city of Blanta, but will also enhance the display of a range of vehicles the company deals with. This will in turn provide an opportunity to customers, a wide selection of choice, hence increasing HTD's market share in the motor industry. HTD's market share has grown steadily over the years, from less than 1% in 1994 to 9%. According to the company's legal advisor, Mohamed Siddiq, HTD is on an aggressive marketing spree to penetrate into the market. Your Excellency, there is no doubt about your commitment to the private sector and your presence here today together with the First Lady is further confirmation of your continuing support for the private sector, which we really appreciate. I'm not certain whether Your Excellency remembers, but I first saw Your Excellency at the Constitutional Conference in Lilongwe in 1995, when Your Excellency presented at least three papers on different subjects with ease when the rest of us were struggling to present one paper. It is then that I realized that Malawi had great talent which we were not even aware of. Your Excellency, my second task today is an opportunity for HTD to pay tribute to all those who contributed to making this building a reality. For a small company like ours, your Excellency, it has been a long and hard road to see this new building project to its completion. It was a dream which we started working on since 2004. Speaking after inaugurating the new premises, the State President Professor Athabida Mutaliga says government will continue to prioritize infrastructure development that can facilitate more trade industrial production to achieve faster economic growth. Let me applaud HDD again for its investments in the country. And let me urge you all that time has come now to increase domestic income generation capacities and savings that can enable our country to move decided towards greater dependence, independence, dependence on domestic sources and independence from foreign sources for growth and development. Let us together create Malawi as a safe haven for investors. Ladies and gentlemen, you are all aware that government will be embarking on massive skills development program under the Community Colleges Initiative. My government is doing this so as to improve labor productivities so that the private sector and public sectors can benefit from higher labor productivity. The private sector can come in to support government in this drive through various means such as procurement of books, tools, building college infrastructure, teachers' houses, and many more. The skilled development program will be coupled with reforms in the public service, which are already ongoing. The public civil service is expected to act with efficiency and effectiveness in the implementation of national policies, the delivery of public services, and the creation of conducive environment for private sector investment and wealth creation. At the function, President Mutaliga also presented awards to HTD's five long-standing employees. HTD is a local private limited incorporated in May 1993 and has another branch in Irongo and a service center in Mzuzu. Tasungana Gazembe, MBC News, Blanta.